Today we're going to focus in exactly on at least two sweeps, really slick sweeps, and a finish from the Spider Guard. Easy, I can tell. So the reason the spider guard works, so whether this person is standing up or whether they are on their knees, the spider guard works. Let's talk about what the spider guard is. It gets its name because of kind of how it works. Go ahead and tripod up on your feet. Especially when you've got a bigger, stronger person up on their feet, right? And that's, that's where it gets its name from. And we've had some exercises in here where we walk around our opponent using different grips and foot placements. But today we're gonna focus in exactly on at least two sweeps, really slick sweeps, and a finish from the spider guard. But let's, let's think about why this works. If my opponent is out here with their weight out beyond my hips and their face is not over my face, even if I'm super strong, <laughs> lifting them up is almost impossible. But when I have them loaded up over me and their face is over my face, it becomes super easy to off balance them and get them off their feet. And that's leverage at work. That's leverage and distance management at work. So if I've got this big strong guy and he's just crushing in on me, it's gonna be super hard for me to get him off and it's gonna be hard for me to beat him, especially if he's twice my weight because I'm not keeping him off me. But if I spread him out using this leverage balance, now as he moves in to me, the more he pushes me, the more I just inch my way back, there's no way his weight is gonna come in and crush me. And I can walk around him that whole time this way. Keeping him at bay, pushing him out. Working for a sweep, a trip, or just frustrating him. So that's kind of the setup and explanation of what we're gonna be using the spider guard for in concept using the principles of leverage, balance, and technique. But now let's specifically look at two cool sweeps. Okay? So this is going to be from the knees. <clears throat> and this is a we've been working on some combatives, Alex, uh, in Nogi. And one of the, the favorite things I like to use is shin guard. Because this person's coming in trying to clean my clock, and I can monkey grip here and here, and then bring my legs into play. And especially if they don't have a nice grabbable gi, I can still do C-grips and manage them and keep my head from getting bashed in. So um, from this setup here, you'll recognize this, guys. But check out this really, really cool setup. I bring my leg across and my foot here, right here. And from this off balance, I'm going to turn my body and bring him over. And look at, my foot stays on, pinning his arm down, and I come right up on a knee on belly. I don't really necessarily want to lose this grip, but having this foot here helps me staple that foot to the ground until I'm ready to pin it and start my knee on belly game or slide right to mount or whatever my goal is. So that's one we're going to work on. Start here, nice punch protection. Make some space, slide this knee shield across where you're hooking your instep and get this foot up here. And then from here, it's a little bit counterintuitive, but I'm gonna actually turn my body at this angle and get out of the way and push with my foot. And then from there, get to the knee on belly, pin this arm across, you'll see why in a little bit. And then you can either go in from here to side control or go in the mount. Just give it a try. One, two, three. Just a variation of this. The setup is still the same though. The setup is still the same. 
And if he goes down to his knees, so if he goes on his feet, he's actually kind of in a bigger problem because he's too, he's so high up, right? I mean, I could just dump him, right? I can sweep him. There's so many things if they, if they tripod up, which is what I call this, they're so high on their center of, ba of gravity that we could send them right over our heads and end up in mount, which kind of helps a lot. So he's going to go down on his knees. I still am working the same kind of move here, but instead I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So from this spider guard, I come in with this cross belt and I reach under here. Again, bringing him towards me and then just coming straight up. And you can use this kind of as a handle to draw you up in. So we're coming back to the same spot again ending up in a really nice neon belly, but we're sort of under hooking that leg and dumping them as well. One more time. Still got some nice knee shields here for punch protection. The setup comes in here. As I come here though, look at, I bring him, help, use this handle, come right in neon belly. And, and I, if I can, I'm not gonna let go of this either. Because if I don't go in the on belly and I end up here, turn into me and try to regain. See, I've got, I've got this elbow right here to help prevent that. Okay, but now, is there a submission in the spider card? Absolutely. And you guys can play this all the time. I would encourage it. Playing this open spider guard, so cool. And keep in mind, with one arm in and one arm out, it is very dangerous for your opponent. It's, and with that spider guard like that, look how easy it is to do that. Once I bring this leg down and this leg up high, it's so easy to draw them in. Now, I wouldn't draw them in when they're pulling away. I would wait and give them this kind of this feeling like, I'm pushing you back, so you push back into me, right? And now, when you're pushing into me, is when I go after you and finish it. And then from here, there's an arm bar as well. There's all kinds of fun things we can do.